garage condo television operation, you should primarily be using a DirecTV remote. And you can go to the guide, and you can sort by genre, whether it's all channels, recent channels, favorites, sports, movies, TV shows, etc. Um, you can establish favorites by moving the cursor from the current um, program date and time to the left to the actual channel and then you can hit OK to fill in the little heart there and mark it as a favorite. If that's what you wanted to do. I'm going to go back um, and then once you have favorites established then your favorites list would be up there. We've already got Big Ten Network and ESPN ready to go for you. Um, but in general, in the guide, you would probably want to use all channels. And they are listed currently alphabetically. You can change the sort type by scrolling down from alphabetical to by channel number. Uh, or, well, now it's gone to alphabetical. I can go back to channel number by hitting select on sort by channel number. <clears throat> And of course, it tells you on screen as well that if you want to establish a favorite, that you can hold OK to set it as a favorite. So most of the things are available on screen, and primarily you're going to be using the guide and navigation keys exit. Um, you can also use the channel number buttons. Um, so if you know you have a station you like up in the 500s, we can try to go up there. I'm choosing these at random. Um, you can use the channel up and down to scroll a full page at a time, or you can go individually one channel at a time with the navigation keys. And that's primarily it. You can hit the on to turn the system on, hit the off to turn the system off. If you have other apps you wanted to run besides watching DirecTV, like watching Netflix or something along those lines, then you can use the home button to get the access to the apps page. But we're going to go ahead and shut all this off. And just waiting a few moments, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. This remote provided with the DirecTV is radio frequency. In theory, you shouldn't have to point it at the television unless you're controlling the volume. So when I'm on the uh, DirecTV app's home screen, if I wanted to go ahead and just continue to watch what's currently playing, I'm going to hit select on the currently playing channel, and that will bring it full screen. If I want to switch to something else, I can either type in the channel number, if I know it, or hit guide and start going through the guide just like any other cable box. I think it was the door slamming. There you have it. You have volume up and down and mute. I think that's what we did. Had this you have channel up and down, previous channel, number pad. I don't know that yours can pause. You do also have a direct apps key down at the bottom right that you could use to access those same services like Netflix, Amazon Prime, etc. If you subscribe to any of those. So I'm going to go ahead and unmute it. From pieces of literature. So a lot of that went into... And shut it down. Enjoy.